up for Lemondoza. So tell us a little bit, Lemon, about your journey as a musician. How did, how did you first get hooked on making music? Uh, I think I went to like a rave and I was like, I want to do this. And it was just like, it was just like intriguing for me to like figure out how to like make electronic music and how to like make all these sounds and stuff, you know? So, and then when I started, I just couldn't stop because it was so much fun. <laughs> what, is, what is your favorite thing about performing live? Oh my gosh. Uh, honestly, probably the audience, like if, if you vibe with the audience and stuff and just like the, the challenge itself is like really cool. And playing, playing your own tracks and improvising is like really, mm, like really fun and stuff. And, and yeah, it's I just, know, yeah. Sorry, I was going to say, I know that, that you were really new to building this live set for this challenge. Um, what, uh, where would you like to go with it? Like, where would you like to take this? Well, it's really fun. And um, I just want to like do more like videos and stuff. And I kind of want to like start my own live streaming and make like, and do like live streaming with like teaching people how to do music and stuff, you know, because it's like so fun. <laughs> Amazing. Tell us a little bit about your aesthetic, the whole gothic cyberpunk thing. Is there a story? Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm kind of, that's, that's been like my vibe lately. Uh, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm starting like a collective and it's going to be like all girls collective and it's like really like funky. So I'm like in my, I'm just like vibing with it <laughs> and I'm and just like, I'm, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I said I am a with Pussy Riot, like I'm part of Pussy Riot now. It's like a punk band from Russia and I'm just like, just got this aesthetic now. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yeah, that's that's a cool story. So uh, Lemondoza made her first NFT uh, with the support of Pussy Riot and sold it. Are you still making NFTs? What are what are you doing in the crypto world? Uh, I'm, I do still make NFTs, but I'm mostly involved with like music and like all my a lot of my effort goes into like music and uh, starting a new collective and uh, making art for that collective and stuff and just like organizing. Amazing. So tell us a little bit about your live setup and like each piece of gear. Like what, what are we about to see? What, how did you do it? Uh, yeah. So in the first, so I have a machine that I had like for, I think, six years. And I actually started live performing six years ago, but then I kind of stopped using it. And then I decided to use it again. So in a, so I'm just like changing the scenes that I made the loops for. So I made like drum loops. And then in the first one I sing. And also on the guitar, I'm playing like two instruments. And uh, I'm also changing effects on a on couple of instruments. I put like LFO in, in this part. So it's like fun and you can like hear it move. On the second one, I am doing like fing finger, like kind of drumming, but with pads with one of the uh, one of the samples, and I, I used all three samples. But with one of the samples, I'm like making the loops, and then I also like put the other uh, sounds into like effects, and I'm uh, changing effects for the bass sound. I'm like. I put like an arpeggiator on it, so when I'm moving the knob, it's like the rhythm is changing and it's cool, you know? Amazing. Well, I'm really, really excited. Uh, let's give her a hand. We're going to go to contestant number one. <laughs> Thank you. 